great to be in a group of so many passionate sustainability people. Um, I got involved in this because I was very passionate about this back in C13. <laughs> and um, I took a break uh, from this to go do my PhD and live in the jungle with monkeys and chimpanzees in Congo. Um, and that's because I was super concerned about the state of the planet and where it was headed. Um, and, and like you, I wanted to dedicate my time and energy to that. Uh, and Jane Goodall is the one who talked me out of my manufacturer's rep firm that I had in the Bay Area um, and where I had been working for startups and getting people into big box retailers. Uh, and she basically told me, if you want to have a positive impact, you should be doing something that's having a positive impact. And working with, in the jungle for years with these bushmeat crisis, what I started to realize is that bushmeat is actually just the meat of other cultures. It's no different than the meat that I was eating when I went home. And that created this huge internal problem. So I started looking into it from a scientific perspective as well. And I found out that the impact of my, my non-plant-based eating was rather enormous. And I use this number of 300 because it's approximately the number of people in this room. And so in one year of this group eating plant-based, we would undo almost two, or no, three uh, of the BP oil spills equivalent in animals' death. And in 10 years, two Exxon Valdez spills. The impact is enormous if you look at it at scale and you calculate this impact over time. And so the solution I came up with calculates and accumulates that impact for individuals. So I introduce veg rising. Every single choice we make matters. And so what kind of choice do we want to have? Do we want to have a positive choice or a negative choice? 